Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this InDesign tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we create this style, which is basically gonna format the title, the description, and then align this product detail and price to the bottom. So this is all gonna be done using paragraph styles. So you can see with the unformatted text that I have here, I have this set up now. So I can take this information and come to my first style. So the title style is gonna be applied to this word short. And basically, I'm gonna right click or control and click here, and then I'm gonna apply the product name and the next style to all of these items. So I've got this set up in a loop. So basically I can now format that whole block of basic text into these styles in InDesign. So let's jump in and have a look at how we do this with the alignment and everything. So we're gonna jump into a brand new InDesign document. Go to File, New and Documents. And we're gonna to go to Print. We'll set up a letter size document and we'll make it Landscape and click Create. So the first thing we need to do is just open up a new text frame. Okay, and then we're gonna type in our kind of product details. So for this, I'm just gonna drop in some Latin text. So we'll go to type, fill with placeholder text down the bottom here, and we'll fill this up. And then we're gonna delete a whole bunch of this. Probably only need a couple of lines of that at the very most. And then we're gonna come back to our selection tool. So now we'll go to object and text frame options. And this is where we're going to do a lot of the formatting in here. But first of all, we're just going to add in a few columns to this. So we'll add in four columns and we'll click OK. And then we're going to break out this into a title. So we'll just break this line out. And then we're going to add a product detail and a price down at the bottom here. And we'll use a tab to space out that price in case we want to align it a little bit later on. So now we're gonna create a paragraph style for each of these different sections. So the first one we'll create is our heading style. So we'll come to our styles up here. We'll call this product name. We'll go to basic character formats. We'll use Myriad Pro and we'll use a bold for this. And we'll capitalize this as well. So we'll click OK to that. And then we'll come to our next line, which is gonna be our paragraph. We'll create a new paragraph style. We'll double click into there. We'll call this product description. And under basic character formats, again, we'll use Myriad Pro and just regular this time and we'll go for 11 point. And then for the, the price and product detail there, we'll create a new style. We'll call this price and detail. We'll go to basic character formats. We'll make this Myriad Pro and we'll make this bold and we'll also set this to nine point. It's a little bit smaller. And then for this particular part of our paragraph here, we're gonna add some paragraph rules to it. So I'm gonna to go to paragraph rules. We'll add a rule below and we'll just leave that at one point. We'll go to the offset and we'll just drop it down. So it's below the line there. And then we'll create a rule above, turn that on, and we'll offset this above our type here. And then we'll click OK. So basically we've got the, the kind of main elements to our title here. And then we'll go ahead and save this product alignment demo. We'll just save that into this folder. And basically what we're using to align to the top is our text frame options. And then what we're using to align this to the bottom is our baseline. So we can create a a large baseline which allows us to align this text, kind of modify it, and then have this line aligned a long way down towards the bottom, away from our other paragraphs. So there's two steps to doing this. The first is we're gonna to come to our object and text frame options, and we'll come into our baseline options, and then we're gonna use a baseline grid. We're gonna have our increment at quite a large setting. So I think I've guesstimated this already for this one, it's gonna be 150 points, we'll click Okay, and then what we need to do is to click away from this. I'm just using the selection tool and we're gonna come back to the price and detail option here again. And then under indents and spacing, we're gonna get this to align to the grid. So this is the only paragraph we're gonna to get to align to the grid. So it's gonna be offset away from the, the rest of the, the text there. So if we click okay, I'm gonna come back here. We're actually gonna increase this just a little bit. So I'm gonna make the baseline option 160. Okay, and it's just gonna drop that down a bit more. And then we can click away, and I'm deliberately clicking away from my text frame 
here because if I do have it selected when I start to go in and modify these, then I'm going to make a mess and that's always bad. So click away and we're going to go to the product name, so the title up here. We'll go to indents and spacing and I'm just going to add a little space afterwards. And you can see as we modify this space, it's not affecting the alignment of this below here, which is super cool. And we'll also go to our character color. Let's make our title red. Click OK. And we can also go into our product description. We can go to our basic character formats. We'll add a little bit more leading in there just to space that out. And again, you can see because our baseline is so far away from the first paragraphs here, we're not affecting the alignment of that. So if I take my text here, I'm going to copy this. We'll just hit enter and then paste. And just to make things simple, I'm going to shorten this up a little bit. And now basically you can see if I delete a chunk of this up to just before the period, we don't affect the alignment of this product detail at the bottom here. So we can modify this all as one paragraph. We can have different lengths of type. We can modify the alignment of all these and then we can kind of keep going. So we've got this nice kind of super flexible layout that's going to allow us to basically have different lengths of description. So this will be useful for any kind of brochure or event listing or anything like that where you will have slightly different lengths of things or perhaps things aligned in different ways. And you can then kind of go ahead and modify them and get them to align nicely. Now there's a couple of things to note here. One is that if I drop this down, we do get a little bit of interesting alignment happening between these objects. So after this one, you can see I need to play around with the, the height of this so everything fits in. And then also after our price and detail, we want to have a little bit of spacing after that for the next heading. So we're just going to drop that down. And again, you can see it's not bumping these product details that are aligned to that, to that baseline. So that does create some different kind of alignment issues. One is that if we just take a box here, you can see that because my baseline starts down here, the distance between some of these objects will be a bit different from object to object. So you can make a decision about how you want to fix that. I found the easiest way is just to create a text frame for this first row. And then if I duplicate that down, I can create subsequent rows. And because I've copied using option, the frame there, it's kept all those properties like the columns and stuff like that. So I'm just going to offset these details a little bit so you can see we get some different things going on there. So you can see that we have some different kind of decisions to make as we are working on our, our layout. But basically it seems to work pretty well, like to keep that alignment down there at the bottom. We can always come into our text frame. We can select more than one. We can come into our baseline options. We can nudge this up and down a little bit. The refresh is a little bit clunky, but you get the idea. We're kind of moving that up and down. And you can also play around with some other options here as well, such as the top of the frame, the top of the page, um, and that kind of stuff to get your alignment working as you want to. So just to kind of have a look at how this is working, if we go to View, Grids and Guides, and Show Baseline Grid, you're going to see basically we have the Document Baseline Grid, which is this long list of lines and then we have our text frame baseline grid and we just have this one line at the bottom there which is what our product detail and price are aligning to so some nice options there coming back to the price if we go to our price and detail we'll come to tabs and i'm going to add in a left align tab you'll remember that we left a tab between product detail and the price and that means we can kind of do this nice alignment of our price across away from that other detail as well. We can also come in and for all those options, we can add in some kind of color tinting as well and modify all the different type elements really nicely. So that's a real quick overview of how to use the baseline grid to kind of get these more specialized or custom alignments within paragraph styles. So again, we have a real nice level of control here. And again, if we just deselect this quickly. 
we can come in and add that little bit of extra detail. So if we go to price and detail here, we can make the next style here the product name. So our first title, we can make the next style after product description, our price and detail. We can make the next option after product name, product description. And so basically it's going to format one, then the next. So if I select all of this, I'm going to take away that paragraph formatting. Then with this selected, if I right click or control and click, I can apply the product name and then the next style. So it's going to go from product name to product description to price detail. And again, you can see we can format that information in one click. So if you're organizing things in spreadsheets in other software, then you can bring them into InDesign and really easily kind of plug all of that right into a style very quickly. So hopefully, again, this is a good overview of how to set up these styles. If you have any questions, then please do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.